Hi, this is Monster1970, and this is a replacement catalytic converter that I'm going to be installing on my 2003 Toyota RAV4. This is a replacement one, of course, and this is uh, one that I installed, I think it was two years ago, and it has failed, but it could be due to the amount of miles on my car and maybe oil consumption might be degrading the catalytic converter a little bit faster but anyways the catalytic converter was like 150 bucks so for that price I can't really complain too much uh, part number four it it's a TWG exhaust catalytic converter and I don't see a part number and that might be it right there. Anyways, I picked this up on Amazon. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was Amazon. And uh, I can tell you right off, whenever you initially replace the one that is on your car, whether it be a Matrix or Corolla, the original one is one piece. So you're gonna end up having to cut the old pipe off and then you will have to put a coupler on it. And I'll show you my coupler in a minute. And then clamp everything back down. But other than that, it's a pretty much a direct replacement. And I did notice that they put a little bit of longer pipe on this time, but it's shorter up here. Same length altogether. It's just the placement of the secondary converter in there and along with that came this bag of parts which are the bolts you're going to need to connect it up on this end and a clamp which the clamp fits over this but whenever you put the coupler on I don't think it fits anymore you might have to expand it a little bit and it comes with the little donut gasket so I will show you what I have installed to uh, be able to put it back together. I guess you could also weld the two ends together, but I don't have a welder. Well, I do have a welder, but uh, I'm not that good at welding. So I just put a coupler in. As you can see, I put this short coupler on here. And uh, just have to slide the new converter back into that. And then I have a clamp. that will just clamp this back down. And the other end, I don't know if you can see, but it goes way up in there. And uh, there is an O2 sensor that uh, comes down through somewhere over in here. And that bolts into the side of it. So I'm going to put this back on and then I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Okay, I'm going to put my tailpipe expander in here. Try to enlarge just a little bit. Ratchet. Ratchet, where are you? Okay. Ooh. I'm gonna slide her in there too far. It won't take much. Because the other one. Sealed out pretty good. And sit this down for a minute. That should be good. Make it easier on yourself. Take the uh, rest of the exhaust out of these hangers. 
because it'll give you a little bit more room to work with. Now I'm going to go and grab the other pipe, slide her up in there. I pulled the donut off from up there. Let's see how black it is. Things burning oil, I think. Running rich. Now, is that going to stay on there? Hopefully. Um, I'm going to try to slide this into there first and then put it up there. Let's see if I can give you a good view. Looks like we're all lined up. Let's gotta get the bolts. See these springs? Don't use these springs. If you do, cut them down to the original length. For some reason, they put these in there. There's no way that you will ever get this on. Maybe. I've tried, and it's close to impossible. Use this one. And the new bolt. New bolt is exactly like the old, like the one I pulled off before. So I had her in there, but if I remember correctly, it was not with this spring. For some reason they give you a nut too that matches up to this. I don't know why. It doesn't go in that way. It's threaded up into the exhaust. So, like I said, get rid of that spring. Put the old one back on. Okay, I put a little bit of Never Seize on these new bolts and I'm gonna put them back in. Well, after I got it on there, I found out that I'm gonna have to cut a little bit off the bottom because you can see how far it's pushing back on those hangers. It's gonna end up torquing them or gonna end up breaking off or something. So I gotta take it back off again. And I'll uh, cut probably about, eh, I think an inch ought to be good. And then I'll have to slide her back up in. Okay, I got it marked here with uh, some duct tape. That's about an inch back. That should give me enough room. So I'm going to go and cut this off with my uh, cutting wheel. And then I'll be back. Okay, there's a piece that I cut off. Cleaned the end up here. I'm going to slide her back in. Okay, you can see it's up further than what it was. Exhaust that is. And uh, actually, where I had this mounted before, there was a rub mark. And you can see it lines up almost exactly with the rub mark I had on there before. I'm gonna put this old clamp back on. Okay, I got this clamp back on. I know it's not ideal, but I don't want to run out and get another one whenever I have one right here that'll work. I'm going to take this plug out, 
so I can install my O2 sensor. This is an 8 millimeter Allen. It's not in very tight. Unscrew that. You can keep it or dispose of it. I just keep it. It's a nice little plug. So I'm going to get the O2 sensor and install that. Put a little bit of Never Seize on the O2 sensor, just a little dab. I don't want to accidentally get any on the sensor itself. And I should be able to strut her back in there. Should be able to. Doesn't want to start, does it? Come on, it's not that complicated. Just right in there. There we go. Gotta be precise, huh? Let me grab the wrench. Work her up a little bit and then I'll be right back. Now, this will go up through this hole, this connector, and then this little grommet will go along with it. it. Looks like the carpet fell back down. So it's going to be a little more complicated, isn't it? Mess here. Pull this back. Right there's our connector. And I wanted to fall. That sleeve wanted to fall off of it, but it plugs in right up here. Right like that. And let's see if I can. underneath there there's something up in here it goes up in there like that okay I'm installing my negative and my 10 millimeter clean this back up should be it for the exhaust. 